Hi, Charles 711 traffic. Charles 711, go ahead. I'll be on Lokshi Road near Code 948 with a two door orange hatchback, uh, one occupant, um, additional required for signal one. And the smoke tree, I'm right here. Charles 711, I copy your 1050 smoke tree road, close to post on 948 with a two orange door. Correction, two door orange hatchback. Stand by for your initial. Charles 127. Charles 127. You respond to Smoke Tree Road, close to 948 to back, Charles 711. 10 4, show me 987. 10 4. Signal one subject. What the hell? Signal one's going to be a DUI. Lovely. Possible drinking and driving here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the PBT ready. Big option. Doors, trunk, pop it. We got a call, I know. I'm my car. What's going on, Trooper? Nope, man. I stopped this lady today because she was swerving all over the road. She uh, right. went right through the stop sign over there on Panorama. Ma'am, do me a favor and just walk over this way. We need to just step right in front of the uh, the patrol car over here on the right, okay? Okay. Charles one zero three. This right over here in in front of in front of the patrol car, not your car. Right over right over there. I like my car. Uh, well, I know you Rancho like your car, but I'm not. No, don't stand a, on his car, Boulevard just in front of it. Pickup truck. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so I, All right, man. you had anything to drink today? Four four nine. Yeah. All right, how much did you have? Just a few. Just, just a few. What's just yeah. a few? Would you have some like uh, mixed drinks, wine, beer? Um, yes. Just one of everything. One of everything. Yeah. When you party, you gotta party right. Alrighty. Well, alright, Trooper. I'll let you, let you have at it. I've got the PBT right. ready after you want to do FST. Alright, perfect. No, that's not a coal. I believe that's a rose. What? All right, ma'am. I'm going to get you to stare at my flashlight. Follow the best you can with your eyes. <laughs> wasted. Just absolutely wasted. I mean, look, they just fucking wasted. All right, next I'm going to get you to stand right there. I'll get you to walk with me in just a second. Ma'am, get off the police car. Stay off our hoods. This isn't a white right. snake video, okay? Oh. Just stand there facing me. Hang out. Go ahead. Alright, Alyssa. I want you to walk to me. Walking as straight as you can, one foot in front of the other. Temple. Make sure that this road's blocked off for this. This is an open roadway right now. <laughs> in and out. No, that's not Nicole. Are you okay if we do a breathalyzer on you? Um, I guess. The trooper, you got that breathalyzer on you? 
Yes, I do. Perfect. Let's find out what the magic number is. All right, ma'am, I need you to blow into this tube in just a second. All right, go ahead and blow. Keep blowing, 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 and stop. All right. Uh, zero point zero nine. Uh, it'd be 0 0.09, not 9. <laughs> All right, that's uh, 0 0.09. That, uh, that's uh, going to be a little bit over the limit. The limit in San Andreas is 0 0.08, so you're going to be a little bit over that. However, you are showing signs of impairment. I don't think you are. You have the right to remain silent. And what are these? Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. You can't afford one. Won't be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Uh, this is this is Stan. Can't speak. Yeah. All right. Yes. You're, you're placed under arrest right now for driving on the influence of alcohol. Okay. <laughs> Shabby rules. You son of a bitch. Anything illegal in the vehicle we need to know about, ma'am? Uh, no, sir. Okay. All right, man. I'm going to search you. Do you have anything that's going to poke, stick, or stab me or hurt me? Um, I've got my pistol on me. Oh, what is this, Alyssa? What'd you find? Looks like I got some uh, six bags of uh, looks like marijuana here. Uh oh, that's gonna be over the limit. You only have four ounces. You got six. Um, it's just mine. Yeah, right, looks like there's five. I it don't. Because uh, all rumpled together. You know, if you have over four ounces, that's going to be intent to sell. I didn't know that. Okay. I mean, I'm just telling you what we can do. You're already in a world of uh, trouble here. Okay, vehicle's gonna be clear. I just see some empty. Oop, stupid thing. All right, vehicle's gonna be clear. I just saw some empty beer bottles in there. That's all I saw. All right. What's going on, Alyssa? Why do you feel like you need to drive while you're drinking? Oh, well, I had to get home. Awesome, T95. Right, Thank you for the when subscription. You're driving, Appreciate you're that. Other people's lives, including your own. Yeah, but I don't like other people. Anti-social. I mean, that's not a valid reason to be driving while you're under the. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and close our trunk. I can figure out the time for you, but uh, I can guarantee you that you will be going to jail today for driving under impairment as well as intent to dist intent to distribute uh, the marijuana by the looks of it. Well, I didn't know there was a limit.
you can have fun with that one. Let's double check our stuff here. <laughs> Cannabis, marijuana, five. Oh, greater than five. So greater than five. They had four. Yeah, I just double checked in the penal code. It looked like it was uh, greater than five is going to be that controlled substance statute. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I'll just get her with the uh, driving under impairment then. All right, you're going to get that. We'll just count. You just want to confiscate the uh, the marijuana or you want that charge on it as well? Uh, I got confiscated for right now, so we should be okay on that. Alrighty. Yeah, no, like I said, your rest. Good catch. Alright, sounds good. Uh, do you want to deal with the tow? Yeah, I can get a record down here. Alright, sounds good. Thanks a lot. I hate having my back button as my hazards. It's the worst. Charles wants you. Are you sure nothing down and we're back to me? Receive the market back to me. Charles 127. Charles 127, Dad. We need a uh, 1070 down here for the orange vehicle at 948. 10 4, stand by. Charles 127. Go for 127. 1070 advise. Next off rotation is going to be Venice towing in five minutes. 10-4. Can I call it 7-11? Charles 7-11, go ahead. I'll be 10-15 with uh, one time suspect to Danny Schwartz police station. Well, she's going to jail. That Charles wasn't Rose. I believe that's Stephanie. If I, if I, I'm pretty sure it's Stephanie. It's not Rose. Oh, shit. And the shuffle begins. Goodbye, car. It's been Seven nice. Charles 103, 1097 in the area. Attempt to locate. One thing we do have that's really Charles cool is we do have a uh, impound script incoming soon where so you can impound vehicles. That's going to be nice. Charles 127. Charles 127, Dad. I'll be clear, 10 8. Receive. Mark you back, 10 8. Charles 103, further 43. 10-9. Further 43 for your call. It's going to be San Andreas Avenue, cross of Las Lunas near Coastal 380. Caller reported an abandoned, or uh, NBA hitball abandoned semi. 10-4, I've located it, and it appears to be a semi stuck underneath the bridge, so I'm going to need a heavy record. Oh, shit. 10 4 we'll five. Stand by. No, there's a lot more people on now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight civilians on now. And quite a few uh, of the others. That, uh, that ID window, it just it cuts off. It's not all the people that are online right now. Or maybe not. Why is Charles, one, two, three. Maybe that's right. I don't know. Go ahead. Doesn't seem right from what I see on TeamSpeak. It's going to be Complot Heavy Tow, ETA, 10 minutes. Step forward, Nugget. Pack PSU, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. Appreciate it.
Now they're going to jail for a while. Ah, that's not bad. Only a minute. Yeah, it wasn't Rose. Rose left the server whenever it was in the middle. Of it. it was Stephanie, I'm pretty sure. Them hamburgers. ACD or acid XLX acid. What's up, man? It's going well. Going just fine. You can grab me a soda real fast, guys. Hold on a second. Taking a drink of my soda. Job three twenty. Carol three twenty guys. Ten thirty seven tonight. And more market ten eight. Charles 127 traffic. Charles 127, go ahead. I'm out with a two door coupe, 1050 northbound Route 13. I can fly one time. He rolled me an additional. 10 4. Yeah. 97. You see it right Charles, there. Seven, go ahead. D10 8. Thank you. Can you respond to back 127? It's going to be 1050 northbound on 13. Oh, damn. Rain stopped and the fog rolled in. Charles 127 vehicle check. Charles 127 back. San Andreas plate 28 Tom Young Adam 240. 28 Tom Young Adam 240. And boy, that comes back on a classic gold benefactor Sterling. RO is a Nick Prickle. Valid insurance, no flags. 10 4. No flags, valid insurance. Good afternoon, Trooper Faviano with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is for your speed. Can you do me a favor and uh, step out of the vehicle? Oh, yeah, sure. Alrighty. Come back here and have a chat with me in my car. In your car? In the car, yes. Passenger side. Ah. Where are you headed to today? Um, not really headed anywhere in particular, just joyriding, you know. 
just joyriding in the rain and now it's foggy yeah I see I just uh, bought the car this morning so I was just uh, testing the speed you know okay and now uh, when did you buy the car uh, let's see probably about 10 o'clock this morning okay do you have anything illegal in the car I need to know about before my trooper goes up there and looks no, sir. Yeah, go ahead and check Control, it. Charles 7-Eleven on scene. All righty. Charles 7-Eleven, proceed. Got a lot of buttons in here. Yeah, we do. Hey, Trooper. How's it going? I'm just talking to this gentleman right now about his speed. Um, if you don't mind going up there and having a poke through the car. And see, yeah, if, sure, you see, no see if you see anything in there. What did you clock me at? I clocked you at 97 and a 60. That's all? Yeah, that's all. Oh, okay. Bummer. I thought I uh, would have uh, hit 100 or so back there somewhere, but maybe I didn't. I wasn't really paying that much attention, you know. Okay. Yeah, well, 97 miles per hour and 60. That's going to be a problem. I'm just uh, trying yeah. to... Trying to level with you here. This isn't this isn't looking good. That's why I want to know if you have anything legal on the car or anything like that. So you're looking at a, a four thousand dollar ticket here today. Oh, okay. That's no problem. We're going to work with you here. Well, thank you. Let me go talk to my trooper here. Alrighty. Seeing anything? No, I didn't find anything in the car. Uh, nothing that would have piqued our interest whatsoever. Alright. Yeah, I had, I had him clocked at 97 and 60. You got to yell at 949. Had a ramp on. So I'm, I'm, I'm all, borderline. If I'm gonna take the car or not, he's kind of like being yeah, like, "Oh, that's all you had me at." 97. Oh, that's all you had me at. Makes me wonder if he's gonna try and get faster somewhere, so maybe it might be for our best interest. Yeah, he said he's out joyriding. That's never the two good words we want here. Yeah, I figured I'd uh, just have a chat with him about it. He didn't uh, he didn't seem to care too much. He seems like. Uh, type of guy that's just like no big deal yeah whatever yeah definitely I mean if you want I can call the tow in if, if that's what you want to do Sam 113 side. yeah I'm trying to think of uh, what we should do here um, I mean he did pull over for me immediately uh, he, he's been cordial the whole time he's had no problem with us poking through his car he didn't say no you can't look through it or anything like that so uh, let me go look at the book and stuff like that I'm going to get him out of the vehicle. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick pat down and we'll let him get back to his car. Sure. Sounds good. All right. All righty, sir. Do me a favor and just go ahead and hop out. All right. You don't have anything illegal on you that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me in any way? No, sir. Just some uh, water bottles and some uh, sandwiches. You wouldn't happen to want a donut by any chance. I think I got one in my car. No, I'm all set. Appreciate that. All right. Everything's all right, good. No problem. Go there. All right. Do me a favor and just uh, hang out in the front of my uh, patrol car if you don't mind. Sure. I'm going to go back to your car for a second here. Yep, no problem. I'll keep an eye on him. If you want to nose through the penal code and uh, see if you see anything else, I just saw the only thing really that we would uh, we'd be able to get him on it would be the, for the speed, $4,000 for the 30, uh, 30 plus. The yeah, issue I have is, is the demeanor here and him uh, acting like it's not a big deal to be out here joyriding at these speeds. Yeah, it's not the best type of attitude we want to see people with. Exactly. Yeah, I'll take a look and then uh, we can decide if we want to do a tow or not. 
All right, just keep an eye on him. I'm going to look uh, through mine as well. All right, no problem. What I'm seeing here is the only thing we can get him for is uh, statute 316.183, and that doesn't have a thing for us to take his car, so I don't know. I really don't know at this one. Probably just going to be a speeding ticket, honestly. Alrighty, sir. You have your uh, driver's license on you. Prove the insurance of the vehicle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You mind? Sure. Uh, Here you, you go. Mind? Here's my. We have it on you. Okay, fantastic. Yep. The name is Nick Prickles. All right, Mr. Prickles. All right, you can do me a favor. You can hang out in your car for me. Okay. Sure. Yeah, he's not being a jackass, so there's really nothing I'm gonna get him able to get him for here. I'm just gonna do the old speed and take it. I know you guys can't see it, sadly. So I'm trying to hurry up here. Put what it was. It's gonna be 60. It's gonna be 97 and 60. Alright. And create. Boom. Ticket's done. Alright, Mr. Prickles. I talked to my trooper. I'm not going to be uh, taking your car away from me today. We could probably go that route. Uh, joyriding, that's not going to fly on these roadways. And doing, ni uh, doing 90 something miles per hour. If we catch you doing that again, then we are definitely taking the car away and you are going to go to jail. Today, you're going to get uh, a citation of $4,000 for, uh, for the speed. Just need your signature down here at the bottom. Just realize that sure. next, next time it's not going to be... Hey, here's a citation. Have a good day. 97 miles per hour in, si in a 60 is unacceptable. Oh, okay. I think I might have learned my lesson today. Okay. Yeah, I hope you did. Because if you, if you didn't, we're taking your car and you're going to go to jail. I understand. Do you want me to pay you right here right now or do I pay it later? You can pay it at court. Court date's on a ticket right there. If I were you, I'd get a good All traffic right. lawyer. Yeah, I'll try. Um, Thank you. All right, Mr. Prickles, you'll be uh, free to go as soon as I get back to my car, okay? Careful pulling out. Sounds. Thank you. You too. Have safe. Stay safe, sorry. Stay safe. Yeah, I just figured we'd just go, right, with, go with that. I appreciate yeah. the help, man. All right, no problem. Have safe. Yep, take care. Charles 127. Charles 127, go ahead. I'll be uh, clear 10-8 with a citation. 10-4, Charles 127, Charles 7-11. Look, mark 1098-CN1510, back today. Oh, yeah, he could easily have his vehicle impounded. The problem I see is what we have in our actual penal code. I know you can't see the penal code. I can. Um... There's gray area there. It's, but I agree with you. But we just gave him gave him that one. I mean, that's a hefty ticket. If he doesn't learn from that and we catch him speeding again, he's going to jail, and we're gonna take the car from him. Our three AK, Havoc. Thank you, thank you for the subscription and welcome to the stream family.
now we got the front and we have the back be able to double check here H log what's up man great to see you as well pat dog thank you for the bits or the cheer there uh, same for Turin soul appreciate that thank you hey Rose Hey, Rose, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that. <laughs> Marshall. Yeah, I was recording for YouTube on that one. It was ridiculous. I made that right turn on that road and you just shot right out of that fucking alleyway. It was ridiculous. It's like the priority channel was accidentally switched. Very weird. Oh, shared CAD. Yeah, that's what it is. Duh. They got a priority on. Uh, that's server one. Hazard 95, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. We use OpenCAD. Yeah, just a fine of double the amount. Nothing about impounding. Yeah, I saw the same thing in my uh, in my penal code as well. Barack. And that exact statute, 318 and 18. So, yeah. You just always threaten them with that. It helps them maybe not make such a stupid decision to do it again. Yeah, we still talk to Zach here and there. Zach's coming down to visit uh, for his birthday. I believe next month. There, shooting radar.
Yeah, there's dirty money in the game. I've not done any uh, recreational flying in Florida yet. At all. Yeah, Rhodes, I like it too. I, I like that the, the time is constant. It's not changing. Kind of breaks the immersion when you're on scene for like an hour. And uh, or you have like a hostage situation or something like that. And the sun's going up and down. You know what I mean? On an RP survey, it just makes more sense to keep it realistic. moved out of the fog. I don't know what time zone it's synced to, but it's the not Eastern. That's for damn sure. Panzer Stew 81. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. man jason appreciate all the bits man and the cheers thank you so much hey bugs hey thanks for seven months man happy seven months i remember whenever you subscribed and i didn't see it on stream you like, didn't even get a shout out. <laughs> Feels bad, man. There it is. Rose, thank you for the cheers. Cheers and beers. Carol seven eleven received the micro forty two at twenty two fifty. Have a good night. Yep, no tracksuit yet. Maybe in a couple weeks we'll bring it back. Tyler's on it already. He's going to try to get it working again for him. EUP broke it. There's no, no one wants that hideous tracksuit except for Bugs. He's the only one. Who wants that shit.
He nabbed somebody coming out of the city. Charles 103, 1028, one able. Charles 103, go ahead. W San Andreas, 6 0. San Andreas plate, 6 0, boy. I don't mind the slow shifts, they're fun. Nine, four, six. Boy, Tom, Victor, 946. 10-4, that comes back on a chrome broken mortar. Our is an Andrew Peel. Valid insurance, no black. Yep. Charles 320. Charles 320, go ahead. 10 Receive, pay attention. Reapers, thank you for the uh, subscription. Appreciate that. We're going to go down uh, south and back up. Back up our brother. Yes, this is the Jetline Systems PC. Runs uh, GTA 5 like a champ, 2K. 1440p. I'd love to run it in 4K though. I just need to get a 4K monitor. Medic 438, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, sorry, I'm all over the road. I'm reading the uh, chat. Prickles again? No way. 10 4, Nick Prickles, DOB 1216 of 90, comes back on a white male brown hair. Valid DL, unobtained weapon permit. NCIC warrant check 1010 does have one previous citation for speeding. Uh, 97 of 60. 10 4, thank you. Charles 127, yeah, I just stopped Mr. Prickles a little bit ago. What's your 20? Sonora Way. I believe he might be DUI. Perfect. We're gonna go see him get uh, thrown behind bars. <laughs> I have no problem with that at all. Charles Prickles is going to jail, everybody.
Charles 127. Charles 127, go ahead. I'll be 97 on, on that 1050 DUI scene. 10 4, I'll attack you. Hey, deputy. Hey, trooper. Mr. Prickles, hey, eh? Cool, yeah, he was swerving all over the place when I stopped him there. I kind of suspect him a DUI. I'm going to see if he can consent to a uh, sobriety test and a breathalyzer. All right, yeah, he was in a different vehicle before. He was in a, a classic benefactor, but yeah, I, I had him 97 in a, a 60. And I told him, that, well, it's not the same car, but told him he was probably going to go to jail if he was caught doing that stuff again. Oh, did you, did you clock him speeding? Uh, negative. I just got him swerving. He actually broke over the line when I was coming okay. uh, the opposite direction. I was headed that direction. He was headed the opposite, and uh, he broke the line there. And then once he did that, he was continuously swerving. When I turned around on him, he was swerving still. So I just instantly suspect kind of there might be either that or something else going on. Yep. Well, I... I came all the way down here just to watch you put him in jail if he if he, if he is drinking and driving. All righty, I appreciate it. Yep, you take I the lead. I'll just hat. It blew hang off. out with you. Oh shit! Yeah, look at it. he's got the lights inside the trunk. That's cool. Oops. Oops. All right, Mr. Prickles. <laughs> what I'm gonna need you to do is uh, step out of the vehicle here and uh, go ahead and do a field sobriety test with me and a uh, blood alcohol test. And step back here to my vehicle. We want to get out of the road here. I appreciate that, <laughs> Mr. Prickles, Trooper Fabiano. Hello, uh, long time no see, huh? Yeah. All right, so uh, what I'm going to ask you to do here, I don't know if you ever done a uh, breathalyzer before. We'll go ahead and do that first here. See what we get. All right, sure. Have you ever done one before? Um, not in a long time. Not in a long time, okay. No, All right, so basically what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to hand you this thing. Well, I'm going to hold it toward you, and then uh, I'm going to have you blow in this tube. I'm going to have you keep blowing in this tube until I tell you to stop. Once I tell you to stop, we're going to look at the numbers and see what prize you might win or not win. Well, All right. you don't win nothing. Interesting really, way of putting but... it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta be comical sometimes. I All appreciate right, that. So, whenever you're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and have you start blowing into this thing. All right, sure. My pointer won't work here. <laughs> okay, there it goes. No, three, three. All right, no, so three, go ahead nine. and start blowing. Two, six, two, oh, okay. All Good right. Ball. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing, keep blowing, and stop. Okay. All right, what we got here? I'm having trouble reading this thing. What's that say right there? Under the limit. Okay, so you have been drinking, but you're under the limit, though. Okay. Yes. Why were you swerving? I mean, you said you weren't paying. You might not have been paying attention. I don't. I don't understand why you were swerving that bad. I mean, yeah. I might be a little uh, light on my liquor. I don't very. I drink very often because you know I. Uh, this officer right here just gave me a fat ticket, you know, and so I didn't expect that. You know, I, I didn't even see that guy. You know, he just kind of came out of nowhere. But, you know. Yeah, the troopers hide very well. I do agree. All right. Well, what I'm going to have you do here, um, we're going to go ahead and administer a field sobriety test. I'm going to have you do the whole thing of the walk in the line and uh, touching your uh, finger to the tip of your nose. I don't know if you've ever done any of those before. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you start doing that. All right. And, uh, okay. Because I, I still think you might be under the influence, whether it's alcohol or something. I mean, I know you, 
the test came back fine, but they just don't seem right with me here where you're, uh, you know, swerving all over the place. You said you might have been distracted, might not have been paying attention. Let's see if this robbery a real thing. It doesn't sit right with me here. There's something going on. I mean, I am, you know, like I said, a light on my liquor, so I might have, you know, even if I'm under limit, maybe I, uh, it kind of hit me at some moment, you know, but. Well, there's still LTD ways to get and, by uh, these things. They're not truthful Park is being time, hit right so. now. Might have to go to that. Charles 127. Charles 127, good. Uh, CNA silent alarm trigger, LTD, in Mirror Park. Good, Show me in route. Copy, I'll find you now. Yeah, we're responding to a robbery in progress right now. I was waiting to see if it was a false alarm, but it doesn't seem to be going away, so it's not a false alarm. Somebody is actually trying to hit the place. Shit, that was my turn. Fuck. I'm gonna take substantial down to make the right turn, but we're gonna go the other way. Now. Let me take it off. There they go. They're on that boat. Charles 127. Charles 127. Hold the channel. I got him. He's taking off out of the LTDs on a motorcycle with an orange helmet or red helmet. We're going to be uh, Northwest Bridge Street right now. He is fleeing. So west on Bridge Street, we're going to be going southbound on Elgin. West Spanish. So westbound Spanish. Continuing We're in North Archery Avenue area. Westbound Spanish and West Vinewood. Got it. So Westbound Spanish. Need more uh, more units whenever available. South Mad Wayne Thunder. South Mad Wayne Thunder. 
They've got a Stop red, red uh, helmet and they've got a gray, what appears to be a tracksuit of some sort. West on. Hold on a second. We're west on Del Perro right now. We're headed towards Del Perro Pier right now. We're going to be going south on Bay City Ave. Still southbound on uh, Bay City Avenue. We're headed into Del Perro. Vespucci right now. Subject is armed. South Bay City Avenue. We're in Vespucci right now, near the canals. East Palomino. Sam 104, Sam 177, Sam 184, respond to the late, Zach, 1031. Southeast South Rockford Drive. Southeast South Rockford Drive. We're headed towards Strawberry. South Arsenal Street right now. We're coming up on the Forum. The Maze Bank Arena right now on Alta Street. Not the Alta Street near Maze Bank. Davis Avenue. We're going to be getting on Grove Street, Southbound Grove. Southbound Grove. North Brogue Avenue. North Brogue from Brogue. Northwest McDonald Street, still the only unit. Northwest McDonald from Brogue. Continuing on Forum Drive right now, West Forum Drive. Continuing West Forum. We're hitting an alleyway, we're going to be coming out on Strawberry right by the car wash. Strawberry by the car wash. Please like four times. Coming out of the car wash now. Coming out of the car wash. Subject to signal forward into a truck. Continue over in front of a vanilla unicorn now. I'm in Elgin, northbound. Copy, northbound Elgin. Still northbound Elgin, pillbox hill. Continue northbound Elgin, pillbox hill. Subject is uh, brandishing a firearm. 10 4. Continuing north Elgin. Continuing north Elgin. Stand by left on the Spanish. Left on Spanish from Elgin. Going west, Spanish so far. West Spanish. Continuing west, advised the subject is armed and dangerous. He's been brandishing a firearm. Still continuing west, Spanish. Continuing west, Spanish. A left down San Vitus Boulevard. Left down San Vitus from Spanish. Left on to Harwich. Left on Harwich from Spanish. Left on to Las Tunas Boulevard. Left on Las Tunas. 320 CC. 320 copy, CC. 177 second. We're on Spanish Avenue, eastbound. Copy, 177 secondary. South on Power Street. Back on power. Back on Hayward. Back on power. And now on north on Alta. North on Alta for power. He abandoned the bike. He's in the uh, power booth. 10-4. Go pursuit. Continuing north on Alta. Continuing north on Alta. Continuing
Charles 127, we're going to be final stop 580 out to place right now. 10 0 subject, possibly went inside a home. Copy 580. Charles 329. I don't see him. Which way did he go up this way? In the home? I, I lost him. Yeah, I wasn't gonna jump right out of my car right away. He was arms and armed and dangerous. Unit 10 will be held for additional two minutes pending eyes on. 10 for uh, Charles 127. I'll be uh, searching the area to the west near 570562. White male with a gr uh, gray track suit. Copy. White male, gray track suit. Charles 27, I got him. He's going to be at 563562. Five, right at 562. I'm not engaging until I have more units. Copy. 563. Three, let's make sure. Three, three, nine, let's make sure we watch five. The, let's get down the whole block of 555-556-562-563 right on the side of San Vitus Boulevard there on the west as well. You guys still have eyes on him? He might have gone up the stairs at this apartment complex. He may have uh, head back towards you guys. All right. Yeah, I'm at 562 right now. We've got it uh, blocked down on this side. He might have went up into a residence right here. Yeah, I'm at 556 is where I saw him. All righty. We're gonna need uh, to get all uh, all of our units to stack up. We need to make uh, entryway into the apartment up here. I'm gonna... Is that you, Jeff? Yeah, I th he might have went up into that building right there. That's what he. That's what the uh, other guy said. Not really sure. Okay. So we're gonna knock on the door and we're gonna see who's there. Okay. Just waiting on more units to get here. He is armed and dangerous, so he, if he's going to be cornered in there, he's got a pistol. Copy. So we're dealing with a strong arm robbery, pretty much.
Is it just us? Um, I believe it's some sheriffs who are starting Hello, to set up a perimeter. I think that's what's going on. Alrighty. We get one more unit over here at this residence. It's a turquoise building, 562 Spanish Ave. That's why I went with my, uh, that's why I went with the, the shotgun. Because I'm like, somewhere in the area. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, there's four of us here now. All right, he is armed and dangerous. He's probably going to be held up. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna knock on the door politely, doing let's and let's do that at all different spots so that he thinks that we're checking all of them, and uh, we'll, if we hear anything back on the other side, we'll we'll make our way in. Okay, Sound good. All right, let's go. You just want to knock on a heap of random doors and just hope. Yep. Knock, knock, San Andreas Highway Patrol. San Andreas Highway Patrol, open the door, please. San Andreas Highway Patrol, is anybody home? San Andreas Charles 103 is radio on hold. San Andreas Highway Patrol, anybody Andreas, there? Hi. It's your last chance. We're going to be making entry into your home. Yeah, this is the one that he said that he thought he went into. No one's opening their doors upstairs. Alrighty. San Andreas Highway Patrol is your last chance. I'm going to shoot the uh, shoot the door open. Yeah, go for it. I got you. Twenty-four. Here, shots fired. Oh, uh, that's us. That's us. Charles, one twenty-seven. That's us breaching. That's us breaching. The doorway. Sandra's hot patrol. Come on out with your hands up. The home's clear. Charles 127. 562 is going to be clear. Nobody in the home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check upstairs, like five, top six, floor. Two, Alrighty. One, two, seven, you want to make your way to 556. Five, I think we've got uh, one residence with a partially open door. Alright, 10 4. Yeah, we'll head over there next. Alright, this building's going to be clear. Let's go to 556. Five, You want to come up the south exposure? There's a set of stairs there. Yeah, ten four. Five five six is right there on the right. Swell. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the other way. Yep, we have to go around. Ah, we'll buy him a new door. If we have to. Fuck him. Clear up here. 
Hmm. No eyes. Yeah, I don't see nothing in the alley. Either. Going quiet. When was the last time you guys saw him? I never did see him. I pulled up on the scene. You Alrighty. Like a jackass. One, two, seven. We're gonna be ten zero at this time. One, two, seven. I copy. Still like channel help. Well, it's not who you know. Negative. We'll just get the twenty eight off the bike, and then we'll go from there. Receive. All units be advised. Channel is now clear. All units resume normal RTO. Dispatch clear. Twenty three, twenty three. All right. Hey, there was no plate on that bike. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we'll have to just take the VIN on it, I guess, and, and cross-reference it. Yeah, 10 four. Keep your eyes out for the guy. He's still around here somewhere. Yeah, sorry it took me forever to catch up to you. You're just everywhere I went, you were down the other end, and, ah, oh, it's a nightmare. It was pretty much covered. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I'm not gonna get out by myself. I mean, we had we had another unit with us, but. You don't put yourself in a situation that you can't get out of, I'll tell you that much. We just don't have enough units on right now That's for that. We lost That's them all on that Charles side. I appreciate the help from Sheriff. Sheriff came all the way down here. Got 11015 BUI heading to Sandy Shores, 1051. Uh, show me 108 or 1098. Oh, I guarantee you they have a bolo out for him already. But if he changed what he was wearing, nothing we can really do about that. I mean, this is, uh, this is LSPD's jurisdiction, but there are no units on, I guess. CJM, thank you for 14 months in a row, man. That really sucks. We stayed with them during the entire pursuit. Just when they get off and they run in the alleyways, that's how they you lose it. They lose you. Especially when they have a gun and we don't have enough units on scene at the time. We were by ourselves in that pursuit forever. That was uh, that was a little unnerving. Somebody brandishing a firearm at me the entire time. It's gotta be around this area still though.
Yeah, I don't see shit. He's long gone. He got away with the money. Damn, that sucks. It really sucks. This just isn't our uh, our jurisdiction. We hand this off over to LSPD. It's all you can do. I mean, all I would have had to do is go around a blind corner and he would have popped me like a few times dead. It would, that's all that would have taken, especially even on the second time, the second time I made contact with him and he ran around the corner. I was like, no, I'm not going down an alleyway by myself. No way, Jose. It's just not enough. Yeah, he was doing 101 miles per hour. You see that in our uh, front antenna there. Colin Davis, thank you for three months in a row. Appreciate it. We tried to get him, but what are you going to do? Can't catch them all, especially on motorcycles. I absolutely hate motorcycle pursuits. They're the, they are the, some of the worst. They're so damn nimble and go down alleyways and shit. Although he was legit though. He did not do that to us. Thank God. Yeah, Jason had that far side locked down for sure, Jacob. I, I, he didn't go west. If he went anywhere, he went south or north, and he he blended in with the people there. That's the only thing I can imagine it would be. That's all there would all there would be. Hello? No, you can't put spike strips down on a motorcycle. Wish I could. Trust me, but. It's uh Charles one zero three of you back ten eight. Not the way to do it. Charles one zero three ten four straight ten eight. Hey Justin, thanks, man. For this shit. For these cops think. I don't know who was running. All I know is I just see the person on the bike. Gave a description, that was it.
the sheriff unit over here. Probably doing paperwork. Well, that was fun. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was a crazy one. Gotta love the bikes, the bike pursuits. Yeah, the bike. I was coming all the way from Toledo, so. Uh, oh damn! Took me a to get there by the time you guys were on foot. Yeah, I was the single unit in the pursuit for a long time, and he was brandishing his firearm at me. I was keeping my distance pretty good. And when we got on scene, right whenever he jumped off the bike and started running, he went around a corner of a blind alleyway. I was like, I'm not going back there by myself, and I only had that other unit with me. And uh, we went back there together. I waited to get some units back there. And then we went back there and cleared it out. And then I made contact with him again. He did the same thing. He, he darted down an alleyway and had a blind left and right back there. Uh, but the far west side was completely, you know, completely covered. So if he escaped out of there, he, he probably went north or south. I don't know. Yeah, like I was, uh, I was over on the, the San Petra or whatever it is over there. And um, as I come pulling up, He's coming around from uh, the apartment complex, turns around, takes off back down that hallway. By the time I got out of the car, uh, he was gone. So I'm not sure where he went from there. Yeah, I just didn't want to go down a uh, blind alleyway without enough units. And we, and we were pretty understaffed today for that. Yeah, no, it's better we all go home and pick him up on a warrant another day than uh, none of, one of us not go home. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we appreciate the help. No worries. Uh, I was just ran into the horse track there real quick to use the bathroom, and I'm up back off to the county. All right, man. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Thanks. You do the same. Charles 320. Charles 320, go ahead. I've been involved in a TC on the corner of freeway heading northbound. Can I get an additional? 10 4, you have a nearest call call? 7 2 1. 320, uh, 5721. Turn our lights on here. Pink. Hi, Phil. 10 4. Charles 127. Go for Charles 127. Your response could be on Nora Freeway for 13, uh, 721 to assist 320 in NBA. I mean, route. 10 4. Right, we're out to an MVA right now. Signal four. Charles 127, 97. 10 4. Good to see you again, Deputy. What's going on, Trooper? Good to see you. Um, so he was parked like that when I arrived, and I noticed the window was smashed, so I just wanted to make sure he was okay. And then as I went to get out of my car, I got rammed into the side of by an eight. Um, you know, another civilian. Right. Um, but I'm okay. Um, but I went to talk to him. He said he's just lost and all that. But it's just his windows all smashed, which is a little bit suspicious. So I was just going to run the yeah. plate and all that and just make sure it's all good. All right. Sounds good. Charles Freakling. Charles Freakling, dead. How you doing, sir? Oh, hey, what's up? Go ahead. What happened to your window uh, here? Hey, Lincoln. Victor, oh, I don't. Uh, I, I don't know. It's a buddy's car. He took tomorrow his car, and he he said something happened to the window. I'm not quite sure. I think some kid threw a rock through it or something. Oh yeah, yeah, we get a lot of those. Alrighty. Yeah, you know kids nowadays. Yep, yeah, you're all right. You don't need any medical attention or anything like that. 
Oh, no, I'm fine. I just pulled off to check the GPS. I didn't want to check it while driving. Alrighty. Just sit tight for us. Okay. Four James McKee, DLB three thirteen of ninety two, comes back in a white male brown hair. DL is valid. Weapon permit is obtained. NCIC warrant check at ten ten. No previous arrest or citation. I'm not buying the whole story about my friend's car. Three, blah, three, blah, three. blah 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 blah. Rock went through the. It, it, we'll see what the uh, plate I just comes ran back. that plate through dispatch. Um, it's not registered. It doesn't come back in the system at all. All right, so we treat that as a uh, stolen vehicle. I mean, that would coincide with the whole smash out window. Smash, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, it would sound right. But... Maybe we can get a uh, ping off of OnStar. I'm just going to ask dispatch, does he have any, like, you know, previous citations or anything? All right, and we'll see if the vehicle's uh, fitted with a low jack or something like that. It hasn't been reported yet. Okay, he's completely clean. Copy. He's clean, but the issue is the car. Yeah, the car, I, I think it's, you know, just judging by the window, it's very suspicious, I think. Well, I, I don't understand what his story is. He's saying it's his friend's car, but he's on the side of the road here, and then now the plate's not coming back to anything. Yeah, his reason for being stopped here was he's he didn't want to check his GPS while driving. He's trying to get to the coastal one. Um, he's going to shoot through 68 and get over there. He's I, I don't, I'm not really sure he knows where he's going, to be honest. All right, I'm going to hang out in my car. If you want to try to get him out of the vehicle, go for it. Yeah, I'll hang, I'll hang out in my car just in case he just takes off on you guys. Okay. That's stolen auto. Whenever you have a, a person with the car like that with the plate out, that's stolen. With a smash window. There would be no way for us to know if he had a bike or not. sure how that conversation's going. Jesus, that car went right into the fucking wall there. But you, I mean, you guys are speculating that the person who ran from us was Bugs. We don't know. But there's nothing. He's not wearing a gray track, track suit or anything. The guy that's driving the car, there would be no way to know that. So that you're just speculating that. So we have to, in RP, do the same. We have to just go by what we have here. The only thing we have here is a stolen auto. Right, for RP, it's not the same guy. There would be no way for us to know. All right, he's getting out. Yeah, what's your friend's name that owns this car? Uh, my friend's name is Matt. Does Matt. Matt have a last name? Oh, yeah. No, it's Matt. Matt. It's Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted his full name? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, okay. It's uh, Matt Christian. Matt Christian. Okay. Okay. So you don't know yeah, anything about the reason we're poke me, stick me, anything like that? Uh, no. Okay. Is, is that uh, necessary? To... Yeah, it's necessary. I'm just going to pay you now. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Can you run a 10 uh, Okay, I might have a Go ahead. pistol on me. Gonna okay, be you have a Matt pistol on you. Do you have a permit for that Carlson. pistol? Yes. All right, where's that located at? Uh, on my right hip. Okay. 
It's a oh, okay. conceal, so it's on the inside of my jeans. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. Hold on a second. So, just in case I got it mixed up, what did you say your friend's name was again? His last name? Uh, Christian. Okay, ooh. All right. What, what, are you, what are you doing walking around with $7,000 on you? Oh, I'm from, I'm from out of town. From out of town? It, it's just my spending money. Okay. Charles, all right, I'll take no, that. Here's his, here's his uh, pistol and all his other items here. Let's go ahead and face away from you, sir. Oh. I thought you were There's no return on those names. Right. Uh, trigger. Okay. Alright, you have, uh, your buddy's cell phone number or anything like that? You can call him and we can talk to him? Uh, I mean, I do. Okay. This seems a little unnecessary. Okay, well, in can, our case... Can I face you now or you want me to just keep facing this way? I was just patting you down the rest of the way. Okay, yep, you're good. Do you have his uh, cell phone number on you? Y yeah, I do. Okay. Can you give us that? I mean, I don't, I don't feel comfortable giving out his personal information. Okay. I, I mean, you understand you're driving a car that your buddy owns and it's not in our system it's not coming back to anything it's got a smashed out window that that sounds like his issue no it sounds like a you issue. i mean you just said take the car he was like he was like it's it's got a smashed out driver window don't worry about it it's good just you know take it and and go and see the sights and i was just heading to coastal one and i was going to drive up the coast and and see the view Okay. That's all. I don't know why you'd have $7,000 on you. That's interesting. I wish I had that I, much money. <laughs> I just... I, I Maybe I... I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like I need to explain that, but I just... Maybe I find, you know, a, a, a souvenir that I like. Okay. Well, we're going to be doing a full VIN check on this vehicle. We'll find okay. out who the owner is. If that owner doesn't come back to be your buddy, that's going to be a problem. So it's either you want to so give is us there anything his in the information. Car that be there? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't think so. I didn't search his okay. car before well, he let me. I'm going to pop it. the hood so I can look at the VIN, okay? Okay. Can, can I help you? Yeah, you're just, oh. being, just being detained for right now, sir. Make sure you okay. don't run off on us or something like that. We're All right. now going to be investigating the vehicle and make sure it's not a stolen vehicle. It's part of the protocol I mean, here. I guess, I guess this is the last time I'm visiting San Andreas. The last time you're visiting San Andreas? Well, you, sir, you're on the side of the road over here, and you've got a busted out window and a vehicle that doesn't match any I don't any know why you're so concerned about the window. It's just a window. It's just busted. Well, a lot of the stolen autos we get coming out of Los Santos have a similar story. But the issue is not so much the window. The issue is that this car is not in the system at all. Not in your name. It's not coming back to you. You don't want to give up your buddy's name. So you know what's going to happen? The vehicle's going to get impounded. I, ga I, I gave you his name. You gave me Matt. You didn't give us a last name. Or no, you gave us a last name. Matt Christian. Yeah, we ran Matt Christian. Matt Christian doesn't exist. He's not in our records. He does. Well, I, I don't... That seems like a your problem. I don't know. Update your records. No, this is a you problem. You're driving a vehicle that you don't that doesn't belong to you. Yeah, it's my buddy Matt's. The vehicle doesn't come back to a mat. That's the issue. Well, I don't know. It, it, he said it was his car. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and run the VIN. 
We'll find out who owns the car. Tracy Johnson. Definitely not Matt. What's his face? Do you want the VIN number, Trooper? Yeah, I already got the VIN check done on it. It's coming back to a Tracy Johnson. Oh, cool. I'm going to ask him if he knows that. Yep. Sir, do, do Am you know... Am I going to get back out of the car? Yeah. Do you know a person named Tracy? Yeah, that's Matt's uh, wife. Matt's or wife. Or fiance or how, whatever, you, uh, you know, whatever you call him. Okay. I'd wind the window up to that car, but it's broken. Yeah, no, I hear you. He, he's claiming that I mean, uh, he knows Tra he knows uh, Tracy Johnson, so we're gonna get a hold of Tracy and see if that's the case. Oh yeah, definitely. I think she deserves a phone call. He knows Tracy. I shouldn't even ask that question. Of course he Does knows her. So, oh yeah, no, I know her. Oh yeah, I know her. I don't really know what to do at this point. Bugs clearly doesn't want to RP this out, so I think we're just going to let him go. So, how come you guys can contact Tracy without their number, but you can't contact my buddy Matt? I haven't gotten a hold of Tracy, sir. Oh. I thought you, I thought you were doing that. Well, it's something that's going to take a long time to do. Unfortunately, because people work I'm just, I'm and all that stuff. I'm just trying to go to the coast. Okay, yeah, I get it. We're just trying to I find out why you're driving GPS. your friend's girlfriend's or fiance's car. Uh, he said it was his car. Well, it'd be great if it came back to his car or if it came back to his name. You understand what we're in the, the situation we're in now? Uh, I mean, I guess. Okay. So what does Max it's look like? Trooper, come back with me. What does Matt look like? Actually, don't worry. Don't I don't know. He's, a, he's a dude with a face and he's got hair. I don't know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No, I'm saying Bugs doesn't want to RP it that way. That's fine. What's up? All right. Well, I mean, we don't have anything to hold him on. If he's, I mean, I mean no, until um, we, unless we get a hold of them and make sure that that is the case, but. I mean, there's nothing yeah, else. Yeah, like, he's, he's unsure whether they're fiancés or girlfriends or, you know, that, but it's not really enough, is it? Like, we can't even contact yeah. either of them. Well, the vehicle's not coming back and the system flag is stolen. So let's do one more final check and see if there's any uh, vehicle flags. Okay. Uh, you'll, will you run that? Minutes. Yeah, I'll run it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tags, flags. No stolen fast, no response from Okay. All right. He's going to be good to go. No, uh, no response from the owner. We can't get a hold okay. of them, but there's no stolen flags in the vehicle. So, I mean, it's a he said, she said. Yeah, I don't know. we just I haven't got enough at the moment. Yep. All right. All righty, sir.
Grab your money. There you go. Here's your weapon back. Oh, thank you. You're free to go. Oh. Oh, here's okay. your wallet back, Mr. McKay, with your Fair ID and all that too. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. I'll be ten seven six three two tonight. Thank you. All right. Ten four three four two. Sorry about this. Uh, you know all that. Um, hope you have a good day, sir. Drive safe. But we don't have anything on the ve the vehicle. I mean, we can't RP it out to a certain level. So I was seeing how many different angles you can RP it, which is pretty much because it would be a Civ's butt would be a friend or another person that's in game. It would be their car if it came back. If it doesn't. We know it's the AI car. If it's not in our system, but in the real world, it wouldn't come back that way. So there's really nothing we can uh, we can do with that. Um, there was no RP there for stolen flags or anything like that. So the vehicle's not stolen in our system. Uh, so he said, she said that deal. So it is what it is. Medic 438, we do that every single time. We don't always do the, the vehicle plate because we can do that ourselves on the MDT. But we do we do, do that all the way. But I don't want to push RP on a situation if somebody doesn't want to go that direction with it. You know what I mean? I try not to do that. So I, I was trying to do everything I could, dance around it and see if it was going to pop back with, you know, that was if that was a stolen vehicle, we could go that route. But... We had no way to tie anything with anything, so there's nothing there. There really is absolutely nothing there. You jack. Fuck. His, his uh, weapon was registered, as far as I know. They ran him. He was clean and clear. Because that would have uh, brought up a flag for sure, if that were the case. King Blood Mod 16, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream family with your subscription. And Vegas Flyer, thank you for seven months in a row. Yep, I'll be at Flight Sim Expo in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's impossible to know that one, though, unfortunately. The, the amount of money that's taken from the LTD, it's not reported to us. There's no way for us to link that together. There's just not. You have That's the thing. You have to completely take that out of, out of the equation because that's true that's true meta whenever you know if you know somebody is was involved in the prior thing and that's a separate thing you can't tie them together because of that that's absolute meta gaming meta game meta 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 game we're not gonna do that rain and rain and rain rain go away what no more rain Somebody's whiskey's over here. That's good. Oh, we'll just 
just leave this for now. That'll work right there. Yeah, 70 hour, two hour hold. It's so, so, so shystery to do that. I don't know. It was I wasn't the originating officer. It was up to the, the other trooper for the most part. Let's see who else is streaming. We can go say hello to them. Uh, we've got... Oh, if you guys want to see... Um, uh, Thero's working on the Tahoe. You guys can go say hi to him. Let's go bomb him. Say hello. He's working on the, the new Florida or the, the Florida Highway Patrol style, but the uh, SHP Tahoe we're going to be getting. He's working on it right now. You can watch that right there. So go over there and say hello to him. That'd be awesome. 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 Well, guys, that's going to do it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Charles one twenty seven.